Welcome back people. So this is my second video for part two on GCB machine in the previous part. If you guys would like to see the previous one where I open the machine, uh, JCB machine, uh, pretty much for most part here down to see how exactly it looks like from inside the motor and the chuck assembly. So finally I put everything together. Now it's back and working like in one piece, like it was before. Everything is perfectly uh, working great. The way I showed you, it was a little tricky because I was not able to remove the chuck. So it was not as straightforward like you would think. So it was pretty tricky. I had to like pretty much put all those notches upward, spring, and then this mechanism that makes this noise. It was a very little piece that basically, again, it was very hard. So if you can remove the chuck, that would be the easiest way to open it. The way I did it in last video, you remove this pin and then you remove these metal pieces and then you get to this assembly and then you, there are two hidden screws here and here. You remove both of those and then it finally opens. So it was far more tricky, but again, you can review my previous video to be able to see how to open it. But in this one, uh, without wasting too much time, I would like to open the battery to see how exactly the battery looks like from inside. So you can make your mind if you like this brand or not. So yeah, this was a box, by the way, where I got the battery and charger. I paid like 37 plus taxes on Amazon. But yeah, I ordered the 5 amp battery. So so yeah, let's see. I already have the screwdriver ready. Let's and it is full charge right now. And I will also demonstrate the voltage. I would think it's about four volt per cell or per pair of cell. But we'll still test it. So let's see. <clears throat> so it looks like first screw, second screws, third, fourth. Yep, got four screws out. Let's see. Oh, pretty straightforward. But yeah, very nice looking plate inside. I mean, it does say 2018, which is very strange. I bought this battery brand new on Amazon, like just literally two days ago. And again, I'm not a sponsor. Uh, I'm just, I just bought it for myself and decided to open it because I was looking on YouTube for myself. I did not see any video of anyone doing the tear down. So I thought it's a great opportunity so I can do it and help other, uh, you know, people out there that are looking to see what's inside. But yeah, this is the battery. And let me get the multimeter so I can kind of measure the voltage and per set of sector. So give me just one second. All right, I am back. Here is my multimeter. So let's start this puppy. And let's see. Hope you guys can see that. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna put first prong here. Doesn't matter positive, negative because I'm just gonna check the voltage. Again, this is a 20 volt battery, so it's showing me 19.49, so very close to uh, 20. So yeah, let's see. Uh, one MOSFET here. It's a brand name, or if you guys would like to get the model number or plate number or whatever, here is the number. You can pause it and look at it. So let's remove these two Phillips head screws. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> All right, let's see this thing. Okay, one and two. Let's see, is there anything else I need to worry about? Not really should come out is there anything else any hidden screw let's see uh, you know what i do feel something here now i don't know if there's really a screw or just like some plastic piece okay let's try to maybe pull this thing out Oh no, actually it's coming out. Yeah, I'll be back guys. All right, no, there, there is no screw at the bottom. I just had to kind of wiggle this battery itself and then it just came right on. So no, there is no, and yeah, like I thought, there are five cells, I mean, in a pair, so total of 10. Oh, nice. So each battery, oh, in fact, 5 amp. So yeah, that's right, 5 amp. So yeah, each battery is 2,500 milliamp. 
uh, and this is the brand name so it looks like it's called Sun Power 18650 cell so lithium ion cell so 2500 hold on let me kind of clear this up maybe a little bit so zoom on hope you can see that there you go so it's called Sun Power uh, MH60919 so 2500 milliamp of course two in a pair which makes 5 amp total of 10 cells so each cell is charged basically 4 volt and of course you can the max these can be charged as 4.2 so yeah I mean pretty nice straightforward so yeah, in case we have to build rebuild it we can easily rebuild uh, this battery as well just remove these cells as is and put the new ones and actually in fact the some of the cells you can buy for 3400 milliamp so if you do in a pair like exact same way you can actually make seven ampere battery the same one uh, use the same BMS and put the cells in so you can make it like seven amp so yeah nice and easy um, nothing too complicated pretty straightforward BMS um, but yeah this is the battery I'll just close this back in but yeah this is it guys I mean straightforward I can I just plug this thing into yeah, there we go. yeah not, not too deep. I'm not feeling any heat here uh, but yeah everything is working guys anyway thank you for watching I'll close this thing up and let me know if you have any question for me and thank you so much